us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this Saturday, we express once again our love and devotion to Our Lady. We present to her our petitions and intentions so that she may intercede for us. We also include in our prayers today our brothers who will receive the ordination to the diaconate. May Our Lady continue to pray for them and their ministry. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Here are my two witnesses. There are two olive trees and two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone wants to harm them, fire comes out of their mouth and devours their enemies. In this way, anyone wanting to harm them is sure to be slain. They have the power to close up the sky so that no rain can fall during the time of their prophesying. They also have power to turn water into blood and to afflict the earth with any plague as often as they wish. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will wage war against them and conquer them and kill them. Their corpse will lie in the main street of the great city, which has the symbolic names Saddam and Egypt, where indeed their Lord was crucified. Those from every people, tribe, tongue, and nation will gaze in their corpse for three and a half days, and they will not allow their corpse to be buried. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and be glad and exchange gifts, because too, these two prophets tormented the inhabitants of the earth. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. When they stood on their feet, great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven say to them, Come up here. So they went up to heaven in a cloud as their enemies look on. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-stringed lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings, and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Please stand. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, has destroyed death and brought life to a light through the gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her, and likewise all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now at the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of God because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for to him all are alive. Some of the scribes said in reply, Teacher, you have answered well. And they no longer dared to ask him anything. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. The readings today speak of transitions, mga pagbabago sa buhay. In the Archdiocese of Manila now, we are experiencing transitions. In a few days' time, you will hear a lot of transfers of parish priests to different uh, parishes and assignments. And Jesus today speaks of the experience of transition. In the Gospel reading today and in the first reading, Jesus speaks of the transition from death to eternal life. But my dear brothers and sisters, the readings also remind us today that transitions may be painful because you are losing something or you are losing someone. Kapag may mga pagbabago na ganyan, mga lipatan, syempre may kalungkutan, there will be uncertainties and anxieties. It will be painful. Ako kasi hindi ako malilipat, kaya baka hindi ko masyadong nararanasan ito. Pero sigurado ako sa mga magli, malilipat na mga parish priests, there will be anxieties and uncertainties. They are experiencing also pain and loss. That is why in our gospel reading today, when the Sadducees were asking Jesus about death and eternal life, they want to secure something. 
whose wife will she be? Sa kabilang buhay, kaninong asawa siya? Yun ang tingin agad nila. The transition from death to life, they need to secure themselves. Kailangan may asawa siya. Kailangan maibabalik yung nawala niya. Ganun agad ang paningin. Kasi kapag may mga ganyang transitions, may nawawala pero kailangan maibabalik din. But Jesus reminds them, Yes, transitions may bring pain and loss. But transitions also bring the promise of something new. Masakit man ang mga lipatan. Malungkot man na ikaw ay malilipat. Mawawalan. Pero laging magbibigay ang Diyos ng bago sa mga pagbabago at mga lipatan na ito. There is always something new. In our first reading today, in the book of Revelation, we see here a beautiful picture of eternal life. When the prophets of God die, God will then breathe new life into them. Death now becomes the transition from something old to something new. Hindi naman talaga nawawalan, kundi nagkakaroon pa ng bago. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we experience transitions in life, yes, you will lose something, you may lose someone, but God promises that there is always something new when you experience transitions. Today, there will be ordinations to the diaconate this morning at 9 a.m. Ang mga kapatid nating seminarista ay maoordinahang mga diakono. This is also an experience of transitions. They will lose something. Hindi na sila makakapag-asawa. Hindi na sila magkakaroon ng kanilang sariling pamilya. It will be painful because you are losing something. But whenever we experience these kind of transitions, it also always brings the promise of something new. A new life, a new mission, a new ministry from God. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, whenever we experience transitions, yes, it may be painful, it may be uncertain, you may be anxious when you are transferred, when there will be changes and transitions in life. But remember, God will always bring something new. Amen. Please stand. How glorious is the peace and hope of resurrection. Let us pray with hearts, set free from foolish doubt or hesitation, because we believe in the promise of Jesus who rose from the dead. For every petition, let us say, God of life, hear our prayers. God of life, hear our prayers. That the church throughout the world may continue to preach the good news of the resurrection and the life of the world to come. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of life, life, hear our prayers. That in our daily lives, we may bring the light of hope to those who live in darkness and despair. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of life, life, hear our, our prayers. prayers. That the poor, 
the homeless, and the needy may experience the Lord of life in the love and generosity of those who are kind to them. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of life, life, hear our, our prayers. prayers. That the sick and those who suffer may discover the healing presence of Christ in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of life, life, hear our prayers. That those who have died may find joy in the certain hope of resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of life, life, hear our prayers. God of the living, may this Eucharist give us a longing for the eternal banquet which you have prepared for us, where we will enjoy the happiness of your presence forevermore. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name, in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
O sana in the highest, please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give, Give us, us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.